Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a recipe that my kids keep asking me to make. And if you love fried quesadillas and you love hot dogs, you're going to love this recipe. Now for those of you that don't want to mess with the masa, don't skip because I have a tip for you. Now let's get this recipe on the road. You'll need three cups of maseca, three cups of water, one pack of hot dogs, desired amount of bacon, one cup of corn, desired amount of cheese, half a tablespoon of salt, and oil for frying. To a large bowl, you want to add your maseca, salt, combine your ingredients, and then make a well. Once you make that well, go ahead and gradually add your water, and we're just going to keep combining until we have our dough nice and hydrated. Some of you might look in the ingredients and say, I'm just going to put the whole three cups of water, and I'm going to say don't. The reason for that is some of you might need a little bit less, some of you might need a little bit more. It depends on your climate. So just gradually add until you fully hydrate your, your masa. Once you fully hydrate your masa, you're gonna pick it up and make a big ball, okay? You're gonna feel that it's nice and soft to the touch and it's fully hydrated. Once you do that, you're gonna place it back into your bowl and you're gonna let this rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Take your hot dog and slice it right down the middle. And I'm gonna to continue to do the same with the remaining hot dogs. And next, you just wanna wrap your bacon around your hot dog. And I'm gonna to continue to do the same with the remaining hot dogs. And once you're done wrapping your hot dogs with your bacon, go ahead and set your burner on a medium heat because it's time to cook them. Continue to cook your hot dogs for about four to six minutes until you see that your bacon is nice and crispy. And boom, done. Our hot dogs are ready. Try to resist not eating these, okay? I'm resisting. <laughs> I need some grainy mustard and we're good to go. All right, I'm gonna continue with the remaining hot dogs and I'll meet you guys when it's time to make our little tortillas. Take a little ball of masa. I guess that's not so little. A little bit more than you would for a corn tortilla because we want it a little bit thicker. Since I have a very bad tortilla press, and but I mean bad, I mean it needs to go in a timeout, I like to flatten it up into a disc just like this. It needs a tuna, but we've tried and it's not taking the tuna. It's not. Let us know if you have any recommendations for a good tortilla press. We would love you for that. I think I'm, I'm up to my third tortilla press and it doesn't work. Oh, that's a beautiful size. Right. Next, you're gonna add your desired amount of cheese, and I like to squeeze it into a little ball, that way it doesn't flake everywhere. But if you don't wanna deal with shredded cheese, go ahead and use your string cheese. Tell our friends what you really said. I said a cheese stick, because I'm a casserole mom. <laughs> Oopsie. Reminds me of the cheese touch. No, 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 no. Don't, li don't listen to her, you guys. Go ahead and add your desired amount of corn. Fritters with corn, hot dog, the kids love this. Go ahead and squeeze that together. And I always find that it's easier to press it with your little plastic bag, which I don't know where mine is, or a little parchment paper. It works. Once you're done, you can cup it just like this and get that final press on the end. And Views Cup Junior, if you know where the cheese touch is from, have your parents comment and let us know that you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> Steffi has the cheese touch. I do not. Me. I do not. You guys, don't listen to her today. Okay, and I'm going to continue with the remaining quesadillas. So hang tight. In this bowl, we have our tortilla glue, which I've shown you how to make in a lot of videos. All this is is all-purpose flour, and you add your water gradually until you get a thick paste. Just like this. Brought to you by the Views Club. The Views Club shared this with me. It's not my recipe, but thank you. I only used this when I used to make piñatas. That's right. To your pre-warmed corn tortilla, 
you're gonna swipe it with some of our tortilla glue. Add your desired amount of cheese, corn, and you wanna set this to the side until this gets tacky. It should take you about a minute. So what I like to do is I like to line them up in five, swipe it, and then by the time I get to my last one and fill it up, it's already tacky enough for me to close. So hang tight while we get tacky for once in our life. <laughs> Okay, so you kind of get the picture. I'm gonna set this to the side and we have to start frying. And now it's time to check our oil for frying. Once you see those bubbles just like this, it means that you're ready to go. If you have a lot of smoke coming out of your pan, you need to take it down a notch, okay? I want you to wait 15 to 20 minutes before you fry and then try this method again. And for our Views Club veterans, we know we've gone over this with you, but we have a lot of new friends here. So make sure you're using a wooden spoon, a wooden chopstick, um, toothpicks, just anything wood that's not coated. Now you're gonna gently place your quesadilla down here and you're gonna push out that way, okay? Lay it down south to north. Okay, you making fun you of me today? Tongue, you know what tongue's in my head right now when I say. No, no, don't start. Don't start, the kids are out for summer, so more of the children are watching. Uh, they don't appreciate our 90s music sometimes. <laughs> Cause it was a little bit extreme. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna continue to fry our quesadilla about a minute and a half on each side. And you wanna fry until they're nice and crispy, okay? You know what I love about this recipe? Hmm. That you're not breaking the bake. That's right. Is it safe to say this is like a one dollar lunch or meal? If you break this it up? is, if you break everything down, this recipe is less than a dollar per, uh, per quesadilla. Nice. We like that. Oh, mine are pretty crispy here. And I do want to share a tip with you. If you're gonna take the easy way out, and that's okay, no judgment on my part to you. Um, these will fry up in less than a minute if your oil is nice and hot, okay? You want to be careful, but you want to slice right down the middle like this. You're going to open it up just like that. You're going to place your weenie right in. Now who's ready for a big bite? Oh, it's hot. And you're all set. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh... And to make it easier, we're gonna be using pato sauce, but you can use any kind of salsa or hot sauce that you would like. Buen provecho. Thank you. Mm. I really love this recipe because it's easy for me to make, but just the little touch of corn inside your quesadilla is gonna really transform this dish. It makes a huge difference. Gosh, I love the one my mom makes. These are my favorite. These are your favorite? I put a little mustard for you already. Ooh, we're excited. I tried these in a while. I know, you guys have been asking me to make them, so I'm glad that you're happy. It still tastes like magnificent. Magnificent? <laughs> Enjoy, babe. Mm -hmm. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We want to thank all of our silent viewers and all of you that left us a comment this weekend. We have so much fun with you guys. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!